During this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a pop up to your existing web page and how to edit that pop up with any information that you would like to appear on there. Okay, so here I am logged in right now into an existing sales page of mine. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the gear symbol up here to the right. And then we're going to click on pop up settings. This is going to bring up a window on the right hand side where we have the option to enable the pop up, which is what we want to do. So we're going to click on that. Next up, we get to choose when do we want this pop-up to appear. Okay, we can have it appear every time the page is loaded, first time visit only, once per day, once per week, once per month, once per browser session, or if they are about to leave the page, you can have a pop-up appear, you know, trying to get them to stay or opt in or something along those lines. So for now, we will go with the every time the page is loaded. And now to actually edit the pop-up, we are going to click on edit pop-up. That's going to bring a little box over here that pops up. Now, some things we can do, obviously we can add elements to this pop-up window, which I will cover in just one second. But also what we can do is we can click on the background of the pop-up itself. And down here on the bottom, you're going to notice that we have some settings here. So I'm going to click on the gear symbol of the pop-up. And here we can actually edit what the pop-up looks like. Okay, so right now we just have a big old white box, a nice big square box. We can add margins and paddings. We can add background colors, background images, borders, corners, and shadows and effects to the pop-up window itself. Okay, so for example, maybe for the background color, I can make it transparent where all you're gonna see is the content that pops up. Or maybe I wanna change the background to black or any other color, for example, okay? So let's try transparent for now. Actually, we'll just go ahead and stick with the white just to, so it's easier to edit. We have a glossy effect that we can do as well. And if we go back again, we can add images, we can upload our own image, or we can search the images that are already preloaded into the Insta Builder. I can then go into the borders. I can add different styles of a border. I have a solid one, dashed, dotted, and double line. So I'm gonna go with the dash for example. We can change the thickness of this, as you can see there, how, however you like to design it. Then we can go into the rounded corners and for the bottom of corners, for example, you will see they are squared down here. I can bring this all the way up and we'll see it curves it like that there. And I can do that to the top as well. Then we have the opacity and the shadow where we can come in here, we can add an outset shadow or an inset shadow to our box itself. And we can change the opacity, the color and the direction of that shadow. And then last but not least, we have effects that you can apply to this pop-up when it comes into the page, meaning we can have it drop in, we can have it fold in, it can highlight in, all these different effects that we can do. I'm gonna leave mine on, let's say bounce, for example. Then we'll go back here. And those are all the different settings that we have for the pop-up window itself. Now, to actually edit what's inside of the pop-up itself, we have our elements on the left hand side and all we have to do is click and drag and drop whatever element we would like to use and insert into our pop-up. So if I were like a title, I just click on the title element. I'm going to click it, drag it, and then drop it in there just like that. And then I can type whatever title I would like. So maybe I want to say something like, wait, take our free report with you. And then I would like to add an opt-in form here. So then I come over here and I click and I drag the opt-in form drop it in there just like that. And of course I can click on this opt-in form, edit this form, make it look however I want it to look. And then let's say that's all I wanted so I can shrink my pop-up a little bit so it looks better just like that there. And now we have a nice pop-up form that looks good on our website and we set it up so that it appears on every single page load. So let's save this and then preview it and see how it looks and make sure everything is looking good. So I'm gonna click on the eyeball here so we can preview it. And then we're gonna see here if our pop-up appears. And as you can see, it popped up instantly. And of course we can change that of when we want it to pop up. And it looks good, right? We have our opt-in form and it looks real nice and professional and it scrolls along with the page, okay? And that's just how simple it is to add a pop-up to your websites.